Singapore is hailed as one of Asia's biggest economic giants, its economy being one of the most stable in the world with high government revenue and consistently positive surplus. Each year, thousands of professionals arrive at its shores to have a part to play in its strong trade. There are no shortages of opportunities in Singapore. Many multinational companies have chosen to set up their bases here, using the country as a springboard to tap into other emerging markets in Asia. Singapore offers a diverse talent pool with the right expertise and that will help us to develop a continuous talent pipeline to fuel our future focused businesses. Singapore is politically stable and safe. It has a strategic location and business centric for business activity. Using the location, the processes and the depth of the talent, it makes a perfect location right, to have a regional office and the centre of our operations. So no matter what are the innovation we foster over here benefits Singapore, but also the broader Southeast Asia altogether. Since 2013, the HR Asia Best Companies to Work For in Asia Awards have recognized organizations across Asia for excellence in the workplace and employee engagement. Organized by the HR Asia magazine, companies awarded by the HR Asia Best Companies to Work For in Asia Awards have raised the bar for organizations to be recognized as a top employer in the region, as the best of the best in HR business practices. This year, HR Asia is also recognizing employers that go above and beyond by honoring those that show exceptional empathy and care during the COVID-19 pandemic. From embracing social distancing to supporting work from home policies, companies have found ways to prioritize the well-being of their employees in inspiring ways. A good company understands the need to invest in their employees. It's no secret that a good work culture creates highly engaged employees who are ambitious and inspired to bring the best of themselves to work every day. I like to work for a company that cares for my well-being and provides opportunity for personal growth. Being you know, from legal and compliance, we work closely with all the functions. So I would say we collaborate really well. I, I think my colleagues are really wonderful. I, and that is part of the motivating factor, how you can really you know, be happy at work. I have personally benefited from this welcoming environment where everyone is free to share their experiences and perspectives. Having a positive environment as well as having nice people around me working with me really drives me to work uh, better in my position. I'm happy and glad that I'm actually able to work with people that I get along with and also I feel a sense of belonging when I go to work. Since I spend most of my time actually being in the workplace, it's almost like my second home. People that I work with definitely plays a major part in like my happiness at work. In Baruj, uh, I get to interact with employees from different nations all across the world. So this, I really appreciate the opportunity that Baruj has given me and I get exposed to the culture as well as the, the different uh, practical approach or practice that is adopted by different countries. And this actually really helps to widen my scope of the whole world. One of the greatest strengths or competence of a company is the diversity of thought. The richness that every different culture, ethnicity makes a business much more relevant, dynamic uh, and interesting. In Sanofi, we welcome talents regardless of where they come from and by at least having this in our policy, we have evolved in our inclusion and diversity initiative to cater to the various needs of our employees regardless of self-care, their parents, children or even their pets. So just like Singapore being so diverse, so is Tapestry Network and it's something we really want to promote in our brand and all of our brands is that we're reflective of the customer that we're serving. So we warmly welcome everyone and we embrace people's differences and include diversity as one of our key objectives. What I find most valuable in Fari's organization are the relationships we have been able to build as we journey together. From colleagues, we have become firm friends and a family for life. We are stewards who are called to reflect the nature and the character of our employer to be kind, patient and compassionate. We have always been passionate in creating values of our people and our clients 
and we pride ourselves to be a trusted partner to industry leaders. Our employees are like diamonds to us and we have three C's to make them shine. To create, to coach and to cultivate. There are many things that we constantly strive to do as a leadership team here at MyChance. But if I were to zoom into the one thing, I would accredit it to our focus on building a strong, unique My Champion culture. One which truly aligns everyone towards a common higher purpose. We don't view employees as commodities to utilise. They're people whom we truly value and want to invest in. That perspective guides the way we treat our employees, the way we cultivate our culture and the way we manage the business in its entirety. A positive work environment is vital to a company's success. And when it comes to one's happiness at the workplace, positivity can be found not only in the environment, but also the people around them. We spend one third of our day at work, and it is important to have a rewarding and enriching experience. What I appreciate about Baxter is the opportunity to connect with like-minded colleagues who are passionate about healthcare and committed to making a difference. So in my 10 years of employment here with the Pacific Refreshment, the thing that kept me going on is people. I've met people here that went beyond just co-workers to become good friends. In fact, some of them even become my brothers during my wedding. Over the last five decades, we have built a positive workplace culture that is driven and supported by a comprehensive people engagement and talent development framework. In Pensis, we mix performance and fun and high energizing culture. We believe in people power innovation. Every employee takes part in the success of the organization. We must support the health and well-being of our employees and help them fulfill their family and other personal responsibilities. By providing a workplace designed to encourage innovation, employees are motivated to do their best to create technology services that helps to improve life. We create value through innovation and people. Hence, it's very important to ensure our employees continue to learn and build their skill set. We introduce so many learning opportunities internally by allowing people to contribute to different projects and be attached to different functions to continue to learn. I stay very happy I pass this positive vibes to the team and making sure that they stay interactive, engaged and run this positive uh, mindset every day in their work style. The safety and well-being of our employees is of the highest importance to us and by having a strong safety culture, promoting health and wellness at our workplace and providing comprehensive medical benefits to all our employees and their dependents, this will give them a peace of mind to focus on delivering their best at work. So at New Skin, you know, our strategy strives to make the workplace an uplifting, positive and fun environment where employees offer the most of their capability and dedication to achieve high performance and results. We are a very open organisation. We really believe in meritocracy. We believe that every individual has a right to speak up for themselves, to, to voice their opinions, no matter where you are in the organisation. We believe it's really important that people understand their contribution to the overall goals and achievements of the business and that they feel valued in the process. I believe with great leaders, uh, it can provide me with the confidence to work on new challenges and uh, the space to be creative and innovative at work. There's no top secret formula to creating productivity and boosting morale. It's as simple as the happier your employees, the more successful the company. There are many types of leaders. Are you the type to listen? Well, the first thing in terms of leading, right, comes in is an employment of the servant leadership concept, which gives the leadership to all our employees at their level. And with that, we have the empowered teams who takes the decision on day-to-day -day basis as well as on the strategic roadmap. Our mission is so simple but so meaningful, which really makes sure everybody, no matter in which position they do, in which country they work, they know eventually we're actually doing the right thing for our patients. I think for Lazada, uh, we care a lot about the people in our ecosystem, be it our sellers, our brands, our partners, especially our employees. And we want every one of them to be able to experience not just the culture, but also acquire the necessary skills of the future of digital commerce. We believe that we are a place where employees are happy because we have a strong sense of purpose. 
empowerment, mastery, and enjoy relationships of trust and respect with one another. We promote a caring, open, opportunity-rich, and learning culture where Mazarians can grow to their fullest potential. We constantly open our ears to the ground, listen to their feedback, and see how we can work on them. We try and involve the employees in all of the decision making and all of the activities that we do. We also very consciously work to enable every employee to have more autonomy in shaping their work and in taking decisions in their day-to-day -day work. It's important as a leader in a company that you accept that people have their own ways of doing things and that achieving the goals of the company in the way of the people is often so much more effective uh, and faster than trying to force certain principles and, and, and routes to success. It's always tempting to think in terms of groups or in teams, but it's critical to think of staff as individuals as well. Each and every person has their own set of aspirations, goals and challenges. And it's important not to forget the individual element in motivating employees. For many of us, 2020 has been an incredibly challenging, transformative and life-changing year. The spread of COVID-19 pandemic has affected the world so suddenly, forcing worldwide border restrictions and strict health checks. And here in Singapore, the circuit breaker caused supply disruptions which inevitably slowed businesses to a crawl. When COVID hit, our employees were worried um, or concerned. I think, you know, everyone entered a world where we were no longer coming to the office, we were working remotely. So a lot of people felt alone um, and, you know, this was a completely unknown territory. Um, in NTC First Campus, we do believe that um, this pandemic situation will last for a while more and engagement of staff is certainly one of the most important things that we focus on. I think we recognise that the uh, COVID-19 pandemic has uh, impacted many people, many societies, communities and uh, businesses around the world. It is a time of uh, great uncertainty on financial and physical and psychological uh, well-being. While the future seemed uncertain, many companies were quick to put together action plans to create a safe space that puts their employees' health and well-being first. In times like this, our employees need more of a friend someone who can listen and understand the challenges that they're going through. Whenever a colleague was quarantined due to COVID-19, the whole company rallied around the person. Our colleagues helped the family with groceries, running urgent errands, and even putting out well wishes on the virtual get well soon wall. So everyone stepped in, pitched in, even in areas outside of their work scope. We even have employees who work in the corporate office volunteering to help out with frontline operations. During the COVID-19 crisis, as our staff across all functions realised just how integral we are to the healthcare ecosystem. It was the first time that our staff were recognised and appreciated as essential workers and frontliners. I think the most important thing that Stratacash has done is to ensure we have transparent and honest conversations with our colleagues and we had programs that we put into place to ensure that there was that collaboration, be it virtually, and they could hear it from the managing director himself, from the senior leadership themselves. So there was no concern, or if there was any, they knew how to address the concern. The government obviously very proactively engaged to let people know what they needed to do. But the reality is for us, we simply uh, told everybody the options that they had around teams A and B, when they could come back to the office, how many seats were available, and how they could actually engage with that. And, and this enabled them to understand the tools that were there and really make use of those to, to ensure that the company ran, to be honest, almost as smoothly as it did pre-COVID. Cigna is very supportive on flexible work arrangement. That includes working from home or working at a timing that will fit your personal commitment as well as business needs. We also provide bundled care, personal care leave as part of our inclusive work environment initiative. The employees can even take pet care leave to take care of their pets when necessary. That is not common in the market. For employees who are essential services and need to be in the office, we provide catered meals and free flow of snacks and drinks to show our care. Instead of worries, we actually took the initiative to develop COVID-19 products 
by utilizing our AI expertise. All our employees have been so busy for product development and product sales, and they are so much encouraged to see they can help to contribute to our society with their effort, with their talent. We take great pride and ownership in driving such uh, progress. We take ownership in driving improvements in the lives of people. Just take for example in uh, the recent COVID, we weren't doing it because only we wanted to help our people, but because we saw the need in the society where other employees actually lost the job. And that is why uh, Lazada very quickly responded by creating opportunities for them in the short term so that they continue to remain employed and so they can continue to feed their families and provide for the loved ones. We focus on employee well-being, covering physical, social and mental wellness, including providing professional online counselling on demand. Our community impact group of employees volunteered, pivoted to online giving and provided over 30 virtual storytelling sessions to children for low-income families. Reusable masks were distributed on a monthly basis even before mandatory mask wearing. For the safe committing, we increase the frequency of buses. We also enter into a program to upgrade our equipment to cope with the new normal. This year especially, our colleagues in frontline essential services and in the back office have soldiered bravely on in the face of tremendous challenges in order to continue serving our customers. Also with the recent challenges of COVID, we've known we'd have to go above and beyond and really deliver outside of work. So we've created social virtual activities, things like yoga, meditation, cooking, makeup classes, and we've actually been able to include our customers in this as well. Uh, when COVID-19 actually uh, happened, um, the company was actually very fast and responsive to address the concerns that we have. Something that's very close and dear to the heart is that the pandemic has shown us that flexible work arrangements can be productive and that's something we should continue to explore and consider as we look at new work structures. As a working mother of two young boys, I enjoy the flexibility provided by the Baxter to work remotely or flexible working hours so that we can juggle family demands and work commitments. The management team has regular uh, phone call uh, on a weekly basis with us, the employees, so constantly they will update us on what is the plan, like uh, are we coming back this week or are we going to continue to work from home. So every week we have answer. For the past 10 months, Baxter's employees have demonstrated their resilience, the agility by overcoming the challenges and uh, uncertainty. So we have to recognise that I think employees go through a very steep learning curve, adjusting and aligning to support you know, uh, offline uh, business, right, uh, virtual business uh, growth. And in turn, you know, the uh, growing business support you know, uh, their needs uh, throughout this uh, period. It is remarkable to see the resilience in our people as they balance work and family responsibilities, particularly during this unprecedented time of COVID-19. The way that our employees embrace new ways of working, new tools, new capabilities, and new business models is nothing short of admiration. The process of developing employees for greater roles and responsibilities accomplishes two goals. Keeping employees energized about their future with the company and ensuring the company has a new generation of managers who are prepared to inspire and lead, which in turn increases levels of employee engagement. Training employees costs money, time and materials. But even in the current climate, many companies still find the development of their employees necessary. Investing in their employees is essentially an investment in the company's future. New Skin's mission is to be a force for good by empowering people to improve lives and the commitment to the mission has never stopped, including developing employees. The culture of motivating growth and putting employees first provides me with a strong sense of belonging and I feel valued for the contributions that I can give, enjoying every part of the learning process. I know that people development is a huge part of our DNA. We openly share our knowledge and experience with our juniors. We make sure they get adequate training and guidance to do well at work, 
After all, if they do well, it benefits us too. The work I do here is meaningful. I love children and this is the organisation that allows me to continue my passion with the work I do. And in the process, I have become a better mom, team player and a leader. Over the years, the feedback given by management has been very timely and uh, effective. And that has, at the end of the day, turned me into a good personality and an effective contributor in the company. I think, at the end of the day, any organisation is very much anchored on trust and it has to be two ways. A staff like myself would have to feel that the company also trusts me to do the job that I've been hired to do. And I think that fundamentally is important. Trusting employees is key. We believe with mutual trust and empathy management, employees will be more engaged and empowered resulting in better performance. Knowing that I have uh, full support and guidance from my leaders when I need them, um, it actually makes me want to do uh, more for the organisation. I started out as an aviation security officer at the airport. When uh, COVID-19 struck, we had to reduce our operation. Thankfully, Satis provided training for me to become a security officer. Now I am posted at a mall I'm happy that I can continue to make a positive impact at work. I've actually been able to upgrade and learn new things uh, for myself because when the company actually uh, launched a new customization service, I was actually being trained to become the in-store craftsman. So the support and trust given to us uh, actually to take part and contribute to the company's successes has actually given me a sense of achievement and also a sense of purpose. Effective leadership is much more than just titles or accolades. It's earned and worked for. There is no set formula or step-by-step -step plan. Leadership is about inspiring and motivating people to work harmoniously towards a goal. So how do these companies achieve this? At Johnson & Johnson, we strive to create healthier communities and put a healthy mind, body and environment within reach for everyone, everywhere. We believe a healthy mind and body leads to a healthy and resilient self. There is a good amount of delegation and autonomy from day-to-day -day work perspectives. Managers also frequently engage with employees via check-ins and they conduct career conversations, assisting and guiding employees as they navigate on their career paths. We believe in the value of two-way communication. This is how we understand the aspiration of our colleagues. This has a central part in the design of individual paths for career growth and development within the company. We don't do traditional appraisals as such, but we choose rather to have monthly one-to-one -one review sessions with every associate on site, where our discussions are current and they keep both the associates and managers familiar. We help them to discover their talents and learn to turn them into strengths, both for themselves and in the teams they are working with. So apart from ensuring that our compensation schemes are competitive with market benchmarks, we also make learning and development core to how we manage and motivate our workforce. I believe that learning is important because we want to keep our employees relevant for the future. Progression is tied to education, empowering our Mazarians to match their career to our aspirations both within and outside our firm. It is only when um, employees keep on thinking coming up with creative ideas, then the company will move um, and gets better and better. Business continuity during this time was driven by innovation. We push a wide range of variety of training programs to build internal capabilities. We're investing a lot of uh, effort to ensure not only we provide training and development opportunities externally and internally, but also rotate people in different functions and different projects to ensure that they get a holistic learning across the organization. We use a training tool, which is Talent LMS, um, and through that tool we identify where they would like to be in five years' time, and we work backwards. We also create a platform for women leaders and young workforce through our women network and virtual hackathon programs. We believe that all this, as well as promoting a strong play-to-win culture across the organisation, creates a positive work environment for all employees to succeed. On the job training, through project discussions, 
and the weekly project meetings is very important for our staff to learn while doing and practicing. We've really created a number of training programs. As a matter of fact, we have thousands of courses that people can do. And as you can imagine, during the COVID time, it became essential for us to make all of this available online. We strive to enrich our people in learning new skills, building personal and professional capacities and embracing opportunities. We aspire not only to be an employer of choice, but also a coach for life. We cultivate a learning mindset and strongly encourage all employees to learn and platforms are made available through the LinkedIn Learning and our in-house learning management system. We have a number of committees and forums. We have a diversity forum, a social forum, a wellness forum. All of those are run by the employees to make sure that we get the best experience for them, which helps them in relation to their engagement with Telstra. We also invest in the qualification of our employees by supporting their training and education to keep their skills and knowledge relevant through our in-house and external training programs. By providing an inclusive environment and offering open space for open minds, our employees can feel motivated to contribute to the success of the company. So it's important to let employees know that the company care and that we want the best for them so that they can feel that we really truly want them to really grow in Ebonic and wants them to have a lasting relationship with us. Our holistic approach towards employee is supported by our very comprehensive talent management strategy and total rewards program that aims to create a work environment that inspire and energize our employee. We also recognize and celebrate our employee moments that matter. So this can be a promotion, it can be a new joiner, or it can also just be something outside of uh, in their real life uh, and bringing that as an employee moment of joy. So as 2020 comes to a close, the mental well-being of employees are top of our mind, which is why we will commence soon a three-week recharge and renew period this month to give employees time to take stock, rest and plan for the year ahead. We are coming to the end of what has been a truly testing year. As we continue to stamp out the spread of COVID-19, businesses globally saw the immediate need to carefully achieve balancing economic needs with health and safety requirements. But underpinning this balance are factors of empathy and care, which leads to reassurance and an engaged workforce. This year, seeing the importance of this, HR Asia has launched a new program called the We Care Certification 2020. This program is to recognize companies that have not only demonstrated workplace excellence, but also empathy and care as part of their DNA. What distinguishes companies that are receiving the We Care Certification is that they have demonstrated that empathy and care are part of their corporate DNA. In times of crisis, such as the current pandemic, employees don't just stay with companies that show they care, but will actively advocate to their peers and across the industry. Winning both the awards is a testimony to our effort access to create a culture for innovation, creativity and inclusivity. We have launched so many initiatives as well to support that. The Joy Connection, the Wellness Committee, which created so many events to allow people to connect, to express their feelings, to share more about themselves, and for us to get to know them more. Then we collaborate and we really care. In fact, we, we think of ourselves as a family and we operate like one. This accolade would never be possible without the dedication and commitment of our employees. And especially the double recognition belongs to every single one within Baxter Singapore. It's a great honor to be receiving on behalf of JNJ the HR Asia 2020 Awards and We Care Recognition. A JNJ caring for people has been part of our DNA since our founding years and it is part of our legacy for more than 130 years. I think the organization has come a very long way and it's been a really tough year. But I want to thank every Lazadian for staying true to your heart and staying strong as we pull and overcome challenges together. Thank you everyone. We are honoured to receive the We Care Award. Care is one of our core values, so the award resonates strongly with what we stand for. At Certis, we are passionate about making a difference, and care is a core ingredient. 
With these elements, workplace excellence, employee engagement, plus empathy and care, organizations can create great places to work for that inspire innovation, creativity, motivation, and self-development. The HR Asia Best Companies to Work For in Asia takes workplaces to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you Singapore's HR Asia Best Companies to Work For in Asia 2020. Today is a tremendously humbling day for us at NTT Cloud Communications. A big thank you to HR Asia for these accolades. It is through the team spirit, the united team, as well as the happiness to work together that we achieved the fourth consecutive year of winning this award. Thank you, Moody Pharma Team Singapore. I think this award is a testament of all your efforts in coming together as one big new skin family to uphold our culture. A big kudos to all our My Champion team. My Champion team, thank you so much for your unwavering belief and valuable contribution. You are nothing short of simply amazing. Thank you so much each and every one of you for living and breathing the My Champs way. You have made a difference. We want to thank our employees for all that we've contributed and we look forward to being stronger together. It's a testimony and an acknowledgement of every effort that every individual in this company provided. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you for your dedication and for your commitment to ensure that we will continue to deliver exceptional results. On behalf of Tapestry, thank you for this award. Our HR team works tirelessly to make sure our employees remain optimistic, innovative, and inclusive. We can achieve this recognition because we have a good company foundation, leadership, culture, values, and most important of all, our most supportive and engaged employees. A people company will hold employees' engagement with utmost importance, and this is so at TDCX, where employee engagement is one of the utmost crucial elements as it directly influences the behaviour of our employees. Employee recognition and rewards are an important part of TDCX culture as well. We work hard and we play hard. Everything deserves a celebration. There's a group of people I feel most proud of. They are our Singapore leaders as well as people managers who played an instrumental role in engaging our employees during the pandemic. With this award, we are confident that we are on the right path and we will endlessly continue to care for and give back to our teams. As it is through all of them that we have created a positive and engaging work environment that embraces empowerment and trust, play to win culture, as well as inclusion and diversity. Despite the difficult times that we have to go through, we never give up. Without you, all this wouldn't be possible. Thank you for being true to your heart. And a big thank you to our employees. Um, this award would not be possible if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you for your hard work, commitment um, and belief in Stratacash Asia Pacific. I would like to thank HR Asia for recognising the team for this because it's very rewarding to have an external body see and believe in who we are and what we have here, which is very special. Thank you HR Asia for this award. This award is an assurance and a testimony for the effort that we have put in as a company that focus on our people. We believe in creating a creative and as well as an inspiring organization. So this award is a validation of our success and our focus. This really belongs to everyone in the Certis family. I'd like to thank all of our dedicated women and men for bringing their best to work every single day. And lastly, thank you HR Asia. This is a continuous journey and we look forward to working together in the years ahead. This is a great encouragement and motivation for our team. We have pricked through even in this difficult situation. This award goes to all the employees right, who have shown a lot of boldness and resilience throughout the year and in the previous years as well. 
We would not have been awarded if not for the many contributions from our 1,200 colleagues in the Asia Pacific headquarters. Thank you for bringing your best self to work every day. For me, I'd like to thank the employees. I think it's an amazing demonstration of both the engagement and communication that they have provided to Telstra around how they want to work. We hope that we continue with our resilience and team spirit in our sustainable future. A big thank you for all your efforts. This award is for all of you. Together, we thrive. To all our employees who participated, who engaged, who stepped up. Yeah? And last but not least, my HR colleague, Gurbit, who was working very hard behind the scenes to make this all happen. Thank you. Well, really, I'd like to thank every single one of my colleagues at Zulik Pharma who continue to believe in our mission of making healthcare more accessible, especially during the pandemic. Our employees are what set us apart and their contributions are what drives us to address the issues of tomorrow. Thank you once again to HR Asia and esteemed judges. We're proud to receive this award and will continue to strive to make Evonik the best company possible for our employees. It's an amazing honour for us as a company and I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud on behalf of all of Red Hat. So thank you very, very much for this award. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our HR team led by Evelyn Tang and the dedication of all our staffs in the journey and quest for excellence. Mazarians, you have been really, really resilient in times like this. Thank you very much for all that you have done. This award belongs to you. A very big and loving congrats from the Association of Professional Trainers Singapore. More than ever, we are living in an Envoca environment. We all need good staff who are willing to not just function at a basic scope, but to go the extra mile to innovate and to bring the companies to the next level. Yes, wishing you greater heights in the coming year. Congratulations to all recipients of the HR Asia Best Companies to Work For in Asia 2020. Winning this award in any other year is an accomplishment, but winning it this year is an extraordinary achievement. Building a successful company and a great team goes hand in hand. A skillful and committed team not only generates revenue, but also drives innovation, takes the initiative, learns quicker, and inspires those around them. The HR Asia Best Companies to Work For in Asia does all this and more. The awards would not have been possible without the contribution from many partners and friends. And with this, we at HR Asia would like to thank our supporting partners, Association of Professional Trainers Singapore, APTS, Global Wellness Council, Media Partners, Capital Asia Magazine, SME and Entrepreneurship Magazine. Now remember, stay safe, be strong, and together we thrive. Yes! Together we try! Together? Together? Together! Together we try! I'm Maeve Lynch and the <laughs> Okay, it's a bad sign of affairs when I can't even get my name right. <laughs> Together we try! Together we try! Together we try! Together we try! Together we try. Yeah. Yay! Then I grab this and I do like that. Really? Yeah. Joking. <laughs> Together we thrive. Together we thrive. <laughs> Together we thrive. Together we thrive. Together we what? Together. 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 We thrive. I'd like to thank my mom. I'm oh, sorry. Together, Together we thrive. 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 Yeah.